Laurel Gray is actually located within the Yadkin Valley AVA of North Carolina and the newer Swan Creek, which is another AVA here in North Carolina. So we do have a double AVA designation. For people who don't know what AVA means, it's American Viticultural Appalachian, which is a government stamped um, designated wine region that means you should be able to grow high quality wine grapes here. So we are located in both of those regions and the soils here are very different. And that's one of the reasons that the Swan Creek was able to get a second AVA designation. We are actually uh, in the um, section of the, of the, of the Yadkin Valley where the, we're in the weathered mountains of the Brushy Mountains. So the Brushies are actually the oldest mountain chain in North America, much older than the Appalachians, much older than the Rockies. So they're actually just rolling hills now, but they are uh, between three and five billion years old. So those mountains were volcanic formations. So instead of having the typical red clay soil that is pretty consistent throughout the East Coast, here at uh, Laurel Gray and in the Swan Creek area, we have a sandy loam. So it makes it really different. So Benny, why don't you talk about what that difference that makes in the vineyard? Well, sandy loam uh, soils are very easy to maneuver and to grow. Uh, crops in. They don't compact like red clay. They're very good at and being more porous so water gets away from the grapevine quicker than they would if it was set in red clay. And in North Carolina we do have a tremendous amount of rainfall so it's important for our water to get away from the vineyard. If you look at the rest of the farm here we do have those hills that Kim was talking about this weathered down and produced this nice soil for us. And before we knew that we were going to plant the vineyard, we had other crops here on the property. And a lot of people were looking at our farming operation saying, how did you grow 4,000 pounds of tobacco per acre when the Yakin County average is 2,300 pounds per acre? So our soils have been very fertile. So as Kim was talking earlier about the rootstock and picking rootstocks that are not uh, overgrown, we have to be real careful with that. Uh, we did lay the vineyard out to where we get a lot of air movement through the vineyard, we get the water, we're sitting, this vineyard is sitting like on a turtle's back. So any rain that runs into the vineyard here quickly leaves the vineyard and comes into this grassy meadow behind Kim and is able to get out of the vineyard. So we're very fortunate. We didn't have any control over our property being able to do that. We're very blessed to have this great farm and real lucky that the uh, soil has a great mineral content and we have a lot of uh, good grapes for that reason.